They're in the middle of the forest here. Damn wars. It needs the war against the enemy within. That's a pyramid. Only we are dying all the time and they don't. It's all for us here. Yeah. Horrible. All tribes in the world all unite against the enemy within. Just as William Cooper he wrote in his book Behold a Pale Horse. At page 95 that Switzerland is the seat of world power. Only he doesn't really know why. The good man. And Bill Cooper, he writes, the core of the organization is three committees made up of 13 members each. Thus the heart of the Bilderberg group consists of 39 total members of the Illuminati. The three committees are made up exclusively of members of all the different secret groups that make up the Illuminati, the Freemasons, the Vatican and the Black Nobility. This committee works year round in offices in Switzerland. There you go. I, um, too bad that they murdered Bill Cooper. I, so, too bad I, I never met him. And I just recently got hold of this book, um, like a couple of months back. Never read anything before, and um, I think Bill Cooper would have liked to get my information because uh, I would have given him the whole picture. The good man. Too bad. I'm sorry, Bill, that they, the American police murdered you. I'm very sorry. I wish you were still around, bro. And here on page 169, he writes that the, uh, the policy committee of the Bilderberg Group, they're based in Switzerland. <laughs> you know, everything is based in Switzerland, eh? Oh, yeah, everything. And here on page um, 200, he's talking about the Bilderbergers and the headquarters of this group is in Geneva, Switzerland. Hey. Uh. And here in his Mystery Babylon um, radio series, he says... On page 282, he had another fella um, on the radio, Jordan Maxwell, who says that the, oh, the world head, headquarters in Switzerland of the World Masonic Headquarters for World Masonry. Um, I wonder why none of these guys, they all knew the headquarters is Switzerland of all of us, why they never dug a little bit deeper into it, eh? Um, well, it's the magic wand around over Switzerland people. And here on page 298 uh, he talks about the uh, the Lucif Lucifer Publishing Company and the Lucy Lucy's Trust they are located in Geneva, Switzerland number one Rue de Varambe 3E Geneva in Switzerland, there you go. It's all Switzerland. The uh, the Swiss beast, home of the devil. Here's the actual Swiss money here. And I want, I'd like to tell you, we had the Kraut Wars, the Kebab Wars, and the Bug War. Now today, the Kraut Wars. We had two world wars with the Krauts. The kebab wars, the terrorist attacks, and now the bug war. And, um, you know, Switzerland had no world wars, no terrorist wars, no bug wars. As if these, um, 
As if these bloody no person sparing world wars recognized the Swiss border. As if indiscriminate terrorist attacks recognized the Swiss border and even the bugs of 2020 recognized the Swiss border. The Emperor William II respected the Swiss border. Mass murderers like Hitler respected the Swiss border and the worldwide bug respected the Swiss border. Therefore, the magic wand over the earth on the Swiss Templar money. There it is. The magic wand, people. And everywhere there's the earth. And now why does Swizzy put the earth here? Look at that. As the, uh, the, the 10 franc bill, the 20 franc bill, there's the earth. And here's the light, which is of course a reference to the light bearer, Lucifer, Knights Templars, Statue of Liberty, from the French Liberté, Fraternité, Égalité, the new system of the, the horizontal rule. The 50 bill, 50 franc bill, you know, the seed, the seed of evil, Swiss, eh? And it's all over the world. The, the Swiss seed of evil is all over the world. As I told you, the Swiss beast, home of the devil. And here too, it's all over the world. You know, the light. The, 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 Lucifer. And here, this is the water, whatever it is, or air. It's all over the world. And uh, it's, it's probably a reference like the Swiss Nestle buying wells and buying water all over the world and then sell it back to the people in to all the peoples on the, in the world in, uh, in plastic bottles, you know. Or maybe somebody else finds another definition of it. But I mean, the world, the world, the world, the world. I mean, why does Swizzy put on every one of their bills and they also got a 200 franc bill and a thousand franc bill why, why, why do they put the world there eh? and um, the magic wand the light bearer Lucifer the seed of evil Nestle the water and here's the other side of it of it I'll show you the other side um, Oh, here, I'll put them, I'll put them here for you like this. Yeah. It's quite complex. Oh, here's the tunnel, the St. Gothard tunnel, you know, the, the satanic ritual. There's some sort of a mechanic. And I mean, the Knights Templars, they invented the banks. They invented the money, as you can see here. Right? So, of course, they put it on their, on their bills. Right? Of course, because that's very important for them. Hi, right, Swissy. You've been busy, Swissy. You know, you remember the poem of uh, Derek Gambino? Great poem. He understood it. The Swiss never had any lockdowns, like through a magic wand. And they ruled the earth, while all countries around it, they had all lockdowns, like in France and Germany and Italy, months and months of lockdowns because of the, the bug war. They present Switzerland as the bearer of light, as the most neutral country where the light is, the oldest democracy in the world, who rule over the world through the light, with their banks and the seed the Swiss seed rule over the entire world. Never any lockdown.
I mean, how is it possible that the bug in this bug war against humanity it recognizes a border? <laughs> it's the Swiss wand. And it's on the money. It's very important for them. For the Swiss money is so important. <clears throat> the land of the light. High up in the Alps. Ruling over the world. You know, why do they put the world on on every bill they have? You know, because they rule over the world. That's what I've been telling you. And here the light, you know, the glass has three three sides. In Latin, the name is trilateral, like the trilateral commission, of which all the letter presidents they all belong to it. The trilateral commission. Well, here you see this is trilateral of the glass. And the light on earth, it's it's broken through which the sons of light, a name the Freemasons call themselves, the sons of light, they can see the true light, as you can see here. This is the light of the, the earth, the creation, and they can see the true light. The sons of light and the daughters of light, the sisters of Isis. Okay. It's, it's, it's breaking the light into the true light. The sons of light. And they rule over the entire planet. The new world order. So the prism you can see here, the prisma, has three sides, trilateral, breaking the light into the true light. A trilateral commission. This is sort of a Swiss bus company here. With the, uh, there's a square in it, two squares. And of course, buses are for the people. And one red square. Because it's by the old world order. I mean, the origin of Pharaoh. This is the UBS bank, a concept of three. And uh, there's a Templar V in the key. I already showed that. I, already, I have already shown that to you. Yeah. So. Of course, the banks is the concept of three. That's them. That's the, the compass, the side of the pyramid, the hierarchy. And the square is us, the people, the buses. That's for the people. And here, so some Swiss supermarket's got an oval in it, you see. It's an excellent wine here. And uh, it's Swiss. Why do I show this to you? You see here the, the Knights Templar on it. With a black flag. Why do I show it? It says the um, Graf von Spiegelberg. The Count of Spiegelberg. The, the Mountain of the Mirrors. It's biological. Why do I show it? Because it's from Hollow. And in Hollow I used to meet the, the Octagon group and one of the main members of Octagon in Switzerland. He was from Hallo. And um, this is probably his wine under another name. Because it's very good wine though. 13.3. And uh, it's next to Schaffhausen where the SS Standartenführer, Karl Jäger, where he came from. You know, it's really next to it. There was the, um, the head of the SS Einsatzgruppen, you know, the, the Shoah with a bullet or a bayonet, or burying people alive, or Schaffhausen. 
and hollow is right next to it where the octagon group where they used to meet so that's why I show you this wine but an excellent wine excellent so this is where I met the Swiss octagon group of the Nazi Templars who did so much harm to the world and the Swiss they know it even Dr. Mengele, he was living right next to it in Klauten, uh, next to Zurich. This is where the Second World War was made. And no authorities, neither the French, nobody wants to do anything about it. Neither the DJ is dancing the same dance, or he's having you dance the same dance. Look, even the grass is different. Oh, it looks like a, uh, a, a crop circle. <laughs> it's uh, mushrooms. All mushrooms in a witch's circle. Mm -hmm. Hello! Alvina! <laughs> they came and visited me. See each other only one day in a month. Alvina, hast du es gefunden? Aha. So this was this place where the Freemasons they come, eh? The um, yeah. Later on, we were invited to sit here. And so anyone who wants to read that. So it all started in France, people. The whole New World Order, it all comes from France. Eh? And even um, Jeffrey Epstein, it was this French guy, and Ghislaine uh, Maxwell, she was born in a castle in France. It says medieval. So here it says Les Templiers, the temples, the, te the Templars, sorry. And uh, yeah, so that was the uh, uh, the Abbey of Mormont. Uh, Templars were there. It says Templars. There's a road like you can walk all around it. A Templars road. This one here. That means walk, take a horse or take a bike. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look here, a couple of wines. Here there is a square, as in the square and compass, and it's red for the old world order. The uh, vertical rule. I mean, why, why they put a big red square on it? And this is a sort of a compass, you know, you can turn it around. I, I have no idea what it is. So. Maybe for them it does say square and compass. It's an Austrian wine, which you can see here. In the Templar's colors, red and white, next to Switzerland, eh? And also very much involved in the Second World War and everything. And there's more red than white. Uh, and it's got a, a, an eagle in it. Austrian flag. There you can see. It's Austrian. Nieder Österreich. Yeah. And this one here has a Templar's cross in it. Of course, it's Swissy wine, right? Or a Maltese cross. And if you look at this, I filmed only this part and a couple of times. You know, you find it a lot of things. Also, in coat of arms of the late um, American sky planetary uh, regiment or something and I found it at the, the Prince Morris uh, thing in the uh, next to the Rotterdam in the, next to the Vlading where I was so here you can see it again the uh, the Templars cross on a Swiss wine hey Swissy and this one is from the canton of uh, Valais where what do we find in Valais 
in Swaziland. It's uh, somewhere. Uh, can't see it now. Yeah. It says Valley, the Canton of Valley. So what do we find in Valley? We find Sion, like the Priory of Sion. Uh, who wrote the uh, the Elders of Sion thing? It's not Zion, it's Sion. It's all Templar stuff, people. And, uh, yeah, well, the enemy within. I already made you a film about this once, about Sardinia. And the, the, um, the, the word Sar in it for the king. Because the, the word Sardinia, it comes from, it's an island um, next to Italy, belongs to Italy. And um, Sar, it means the king or the pharaoh, because there were the Chardin, who were the, um, the bodyguard of pharaoh. Just like the Shard in London, this big sort of obelisk, like, you know, like, watching over London, like, the, like you know, like the bodyguards of Pharaoh. But this, this thing, you know, that really caught my eye, you know, why is this dot, why is it in red, right? And it is a square for the concept of four, for the, for the, for the square, like in the square and compass. And I'll really explain that in my film, The Swiss Bees, Home of the Devil. And uh, red is the uh, the color of the Pertasser, which is the the red house of Pharaoh. Where, of course, the Chardin, where they were, you know, because that's in the north, where the big pyramids are and all that. So it's both there. It's a square for the people, the Chardin, it came out of the people. This is probably one of the Chardin. And of course, uh, in the uh, the flag here, you can see the flag of Sardinia. There are four of them, four heads. And this is also a square, and here and again a square. So there are four because it's from the people. And then, so this is a a beer from Sardinia. And there's nothing without the reason. All the logos, it all belongs to the masters, to Pharaoh. And uh, um, we are just the slaves. We are the concept of four. Like here, protecting the uh, protecting Pharaoh. Right? No coincidences, people. And here too. Why do you think they put the G here, big like this, in white? White for the New World Order and red where they came from, a little bit smaller. And blue for the war against humanity behind it. Hey. The G between the square and compass. Yeah, look, this is Bauhaus. It's a German hobby market, you know, for building and hobby building. You see here the three houses here. For the red house, the Pertasser, the red house of Pharaoh, and you've got the white house, but here this is the, well in the middle is the white house, and all around it is the red house, and one is bigger than the rest, and then a little bit smaller, and a very small one, for Isis, Horus, and Seth, the big one is Seth, here, oh. and the little one is Horus, and in the middle is Isis. And it's three for the concept of three. And um, well, I guess the house has some squares in it for the concept of four. So it all says, you know, the concept of three and four says square and compass. A masters, everything belongs to them. Bauhaus. Bau, it means to build, and house, it means the house. In red, the red house. Now look at this table here, look at the logo, there is a square 
and the circle around it for the compass. So all day, all now, square and compass. Colomb, well, you know, Christopher Columbus, eh? Well, what do you know? With the Templars cross in the, in the, uh, in the sail. Uh, the enemy, it's everywhere. Look, they call these things, things, uh, minions. And look at the eyes, it's the eyes of an owl, eh? Because the owl is important for the Freemasons. If you still don't believe me, look at the symbol here. It has a circle or an oval. I don't know what it is really. So for the compass, and it is in a sort of a coat of arms, the whole thing. And in the middle is a square. So it does say square and compass. And it, it is a G. Like in the middle of the square and compass, you've got the G. Eh? The seventh letter. It's the concept of three and four together. So... And this is the horizontal rule as well in it. Look here. You see in, of the G here. Because that's the new world's order. It's a horizontal rule. It, it's everywhere people. It's just everywhere. Hey, what do you think? Minion? Hey? Oh, I don't know. You know, it's just for the stupid slaves and their children. Hey?